welcome to another episode of Salvation Army Disaster Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Jellitz, and today's episode is all about emergency communications. And to help us out, we're shooting from a very special location, the site of the Salvation Army's newest disaster operations center here in Jackson, Mississippi. Now, this center has a lot of neat things inside, but best of all, it's got one of our brand new satellite communications vehicles. We'll take a look at that a little bit later in the podcast, but right now, let's step inside the center. Let's start here in the center command post and tell you the first thing you need to know about emergency communications. And that is establishing communications between your incident command post and your field units has to be a top priority. If you don't create that linkage, there's no way of knowing what your field units are experiencing, what they need, or what they're gonna need to be supported so they continue to do their relief effort. Now the easiest communications method is probably one you've got right on your hip, and that's a cell phone. Some of the advantages to cell phones are they're cheap, they're easy to use, and they're also interoperable, meaning any cell phone can talk to just about any other, regardless of make, model, or carrier. Unless you lose a call, which I just did. Uh, and that's one of the big disadvantages. Cell phone service can be so vulnerable during a disaster. High winds can take the towers down, the electricity to run the towers can not function, or even if the system stay up and running, well, it's a disaster. Everybody needs to or wants to make a call and then the lines get jammed. But let's not forget, modern cell phones aren't just about voice. Now, just about all of them come with data. And if the phone lines are jammed, try sending a text message or an email. Sometimes that'll get out even when voice won't. And the latest technologies like Facebook or Twitter, don't forget those. Podcasting with Jellets. And now we're broadcasting to the world. While Christy's busy tweeting to the world, we're going to talk about another emergency communications option. Let's go talk about amateur radio. The second thing you need to know about emergency communications is something called redundancy. And that's just a fancy way of saying you need to have a plan B. If your cell phone stopped working, what's the next step you can take to keep talking to your people? And one of the backup plans that's been in the emergency management toolbox for a long time is amateur radio. And just tell us a little bit about the value and purpose of amateur radio is Bill Feast. Bill, welcome to Salvation Army Disaster Radio. Thank you. So tell me, why does amateur radio make a good fit with emergency management activities? Amateur radio has been around for a long time. They've been involved in disaster services. Uh, they have groups already put together. Uh, their radio infrastructure is uh, already in place. They have people all over the country who are ready to go out and operate during emergencies. Sounds great. I see you actually have a radio here. I'm ready to hop on. Breaker Breaker, where do I start? Okay. With this radio here, you have to have a license. For amateur radio, you must have a, a, a personal amateur radio license. You take a test for that, and then you're allowed to operate on the amateur radio frequencies. So if I jump on there, what's the consequence? Then you're breaking the law. I've However, done that before. Yeah, well, we, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> um, but there is business band radio as an alternative. The Salvation Army's Southern Territory holds the national license for our business band frequency. Anybody can use the business band radios. And there are some divisions that have business band radios in all of their mobile units so that they can talk to each other uh, during disasters. Two great options. Sounds like you're really familiar with this. Is there a connection between Salvation Army and the amateur radio community? Yes, there is. Uh, Salvation Army Team Emergency Radio Network, or Saturn, uh, is a group of amateur radio or ham radio operators who have agreed to uh, operate uh, during emergencies for the Salvation Army and provide them with disaster communications, provide them with technical assistance, uh, and provide them uh, with any kind of communications work that is needed. Fantastic. And if you're an amateur radio out there and interested in joining our team, go to www.disaster.salvationarmyusa.org, click on the link for Saturn. We'd love to have you join our team. So Christy, we've talked about cell phones and amateur radio. What's next? Okay, for our third mode of emergency communications, you have to go up, 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 way up in the sky. What am I talking about? You gotta be talking this bad boy here. Our satellite communications trailer is better than a double wide. Yes, it is. And it provides us voice and data capabilities via satellite anywhere. So if you absolutely, positively have to make a phone call or an email, then you park this out in the middle of a field, power up your laptop, your phones, and boom, you've got internet via satellite communications. <laughs> that is sweet. 
But tell you what, it's got to cost some Washingtons to put that kind of power up there. It does, and that's why we don't have many in our fleet. Have to remember, high-end communications does cost money, but you get what you pay for. Absolutely, and that brings us to our third point when it comes to emergency communications. Your plan does need to be scalable. If you're just responding to local incidents, a cell phone may be all you need. But when things get really bad, it sure pays to have one of these bad boys in your fleet so you can be guaranteed to make a call when you need one. Jeff, as well as we do with emergency communications in the field, one thing we, we, where we haven't been successful is getting feedback from our podcasts. Absolutely. Guys, we need your feedback. We need to know what we're doing right, and we'd love your ideas for future podcasts. All you need to do, send us an email, disasterradio at uss.salvationarmy.org. Thanks for joining us.